only the occasional small monthly to really tide people over. Uh, and that's really presented few opportunities for these players to go out and just make a name, like you mentioned. But one of the one, one of them that wants to do it is Lucky. I gotta talk about Lucky though. This is exciting stuff right here. So Lucky in pools, he, he lost in pools right to Arctis. He got two would by Arctis and proceeded to not drop a single game until top eight. I don't think Lucky was seen in top 16 either. I'm not sure exactly where in it he was, but he was 19th, like, I think. This is big for him to have gotten this far in the first place, but after losing Arctis, not dropping a single game until he gets that rematch against Arctis, get a 3-1 after a terribly threatening 2-0 to start that way. My headcanon is that he let Arctis get the one win yep. so that he could have a 3-3. Three -three. Uh, keep game. the game count even. Yeah, keep, keep the game count even. You know, just to assert dominance. Ooh, I like that. Justin's used just about ooh, all the resources he could off ledge to avoid that Patui, which is something that's going to be a major theme of this matchup, really any matchup involving Crown Knights. Luck is able to turn anything into a trade that's hugely pretty favorable by keeping the Patui, and that makes it hard for him to get spiked. Oh. Yeah, and this is just one of those matchups where you know for sure both players are a little bit less confident in. I know Lucky's been playing a bit of online. I know Justin's like, been a bit of a traveler, oh. but there's not a lot of high-level Piranha plants in this area. Justin's also playing, again, playing pretty defensively. He's going out threatening as much time, just hovering around Lucky as possible while Lucky recovers. And he didn't even go for a punish option, just seeing what Lucky will do in every possible situation he can put him in. He's getting some information. That's the important thing. Well, that's a funny little hitbox on the end of down air. Kind of knock him onto the ground. Yeah, Lucky. Uh, Justin's still dancing around Lucky off ledge. He hasn't found any openings yet. He's looking for the two frames when he can get them. He's pretty consistent with those. He uses his forward air and his back air to poke down below ledge, which is something you might not expect immediately. But we break neutral here finally to them dancing around it, and it's going to go for Lucky. That's where Lucky will be at. He's got the stock lead. He doesn't care about the damage that gets put onto him. He's not going to die from any of Yoshi's back throws. Yeah. And suddenly, he's going to sit here. <laughs> Yeah, that's an option. That's going to be a nice answer. Nair is great to last so long. He just gets to hang around in the air. And it, it, if he's going to DI in as well, he can cover the roll. So that's a real threatening move. Of course, the first hitbox is the one that's going to be really nasty. The rest of them are just uh, going to make sure that he does get hit back. But he's already suffering a lot on the second stop. I like how the down beat more of a keep you honest move. I'm just going to have you sit and shoot for a while so I can get more set up here. And the second you jump out, I'm just going to activate do a lot of damage. Yeah. Potentially take a stock. Look at that. Does it again. Yeah. It's again, a shield check, but Justin knows exactly what to do. He pulls that up and uh, just goes right back to contesting that Batui. It's going to be something he just has to keep doing against this kind of zoner and frame trapper. I like the way from Justin. He knows that people are prone to pressing buttons out of egg. Gets his little bit of damage through. Wow. Just Ooh. threaded the needle right there. Yeah, he's baiting Lucky into uh, contesting the shield a lot. Uh, Yoshi's shield is notoriously low health, so it's something that most players will like to aggress as much as they can, but Justin wants to play for that punish outside the shield, especially on a character that doesn't have very first heavy options. Yeah, it's really just Batuu, which is, yeah. mind you, probably one of Real the strongest, good. if not the strongest projectiles yeah. in the game. Yeah, I mean, it's the foundation of the Piranha Plant kit. It is real good, too. Taboo. 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 That Nair is just going to keep flying its way out. He does look like he's wearing boots. Oh, he does have boots Dude. on. Okay. I forgot that he wore what, what, What's boots. your opinion? Is, is Yoshi wearing boots, or is that just how his feet be? I'm not, I'm not, it's not the toad thing again. <laughs> it's like wearing a hat. <laughs> Toad's wearing a hat. That one, that one's pretty cursed. I think it's just got to be shoes. He's got to, like, in the morning, Yoshi puts on his little boots. He's got his Aww, Tim's. that's so cute. Yoshi and his Tim's. <laughs> Yoshi and his Tim's and Lucky just on ledge oh. again. Wait for Yo, it. Yo, crawling around by ledge. That is a massive bait. He's not used the down beat yet. So that one's a real spooky move to be thrown out. But he's still plenty far behind, 90% on this stop. And he's having a hard time landing that next hit on Lucky until Lucky finds a grab. And it's just Lucky coming in, eating everybody with Piranha Plant. There's just a little bit something rude about it, I gotta say. No, I, it feels rude when someone plays Piranha Plant against you. If they're halfway competent with Piranha Plant, it just feels like you're being disrespected. Like, I respect the gameplay. Woo. Once again, Patui, though, closing another stock out, setting the tone for this best of five. Lucky to the game one over Justin 22. We've determined it's a good move, right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, but I'm going to keep in? saying it. We lost you can't that stop in. me. Okay. No, that's good. I'm just making sure that it's a good move. you got to check in every once in a while. <laughs>
We haven't really been talking about Lucky all that much uh, and his, I don't know, what he's done up until this point. Um, and unfortunately, it's not a whole heck of a lot. His twin brother, some of you might know, little known player called Loaf, uh, has been traveling a bit more than Lucky. Um, but Lucky did make it out to Combo Breaker, getting a respectable 25th place win, but he didn't really beat anybody super notable, I would say. Uh, so, once again, we come back to the... You just made at least one person mad in chat. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Just win more, right? Fair um, enough, fair enough. But he's looking for those wins. He's looking to say, hey, I still compete at this game at a high level. Because similarly to Kashmir, uh, pre-quarantine, Lucky came out to a lot more. And it just has been very yeah. quiet on the, on the overall Midwest scene up until this point. Yeah, so it's really nice to see him showing back up and making some moves so far. He's getting a lot more damage on these early trades. The rollout. I'm not sure what Yoshi might call it, but also call it rollout. He's basically like a Pokemon to me. But these trades are going really nice for Lucky. The Patui's coming out in a storm. Staying a little bit more even, though, than the trades were last game. I think Justin's prioritizing some higher damage moves. That is so scary. A lot of back airs here. Ooh, that's, that's actually... Nice for Lucky to slide off, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I think there was a downward DI into a tech roll, actually, which is so good because Justin can actually confirm a kill with an up air off the boot. And Patui, and you see Justin, he's just like, ah, oh, man, I got hit again. I was saying corrected, by the way, I forgot that uh, Casey does have a couple Piranha plants, but I think that Lucky, you know, the level of play, right, that Lucky's presenting, yeah. it's really an optimized plan here. So. Uh, Prana Plant, I think this is a pretty uncontentious opinion, is a, a rather low-tier character. Oh, no, and you got to be careful with those with, opinions. You can't, yeah. you can't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> and so Prana Plant is just a character that you won't see so much. It's one of those matchup checks, especially since he plays very uniquely. And that means that every level of play for Prana Plant is so vastly different. Like, there's some core mechanics, like those, the standard frame trapping is going to be really similar, but the way that they adapt and some of the moves they use, especially in those really split-second decision-making opportunities, do differ, differ greatly. You know, we mentioned previously how Justin was very just stonewall with his facial expressions. Against Piranha Plant, he's getting a little bit frustrated here. We can see it in the player cam where he's just unhappy with how some of these interactions are going, especially with Patui. It's a frustrating move, I gotta say. Dude, sometimes you just want to dunk someone with that forward air, and if uh, Patui says no, it's going to get a little frustrating if he's having the sixth time in a row. Yeah, that one's getting a little bit of an effect off of him. He's down a stock pretty handily. He's only got 30 on this one, and his egg isn't going to quite make its way through the smoke to land. He really is going low for that forward air. Yeah, and egg just loses a lot of its effectiveness in this matchup. Patui goes straight through it. Um, okay. I mean, wh what else can you do at that point? Yeah. Uh, your projectile consistently yeah, loses. Yeah, you, you throw it out to check. You're going to force out the Patui, and then you're going to try and go in, but it's still not great because your opponent said can be in a little bit more reactable situation. Uh, it can only do so much, and it's not really going to give very much uh, shield pressure with the uh, uh, stun, shield stun. There's a little miss input there on ledge. Tried to go for a back air, miss input with that. Oh! oh. You, you got it that time, though. These that's what roll call outs. The, that's what's can most consistently getting Justin his kills so far in this matchup, and that's not something we've been seeing against him with other players today. But Lucky's forced him to look for hard read. He's looking for a bit of a jab lock setup. It doesn't quite come out, though. Well, you were mentioning before about where plan is on like a tier list, right? Lucky uh, completely acknowledges plan's disadvantages and opts to just play better than everybody else. You like, Lucky you just has to prove to be the best player. Oh, the up airs are really big right here. They've been adding so much percent, just about 60 here, but a thrown out back air is just enough. Justin can't quite DI up enough to get out of that one. So 90% still on him. Lucky gets out of that game 2-0. These two are in losers at this point, so the pressure is mounting for Justin 22. I was mentioning it before. Lucky removed the one person in bracket that could take him out, and that was Arctice. And that was he's it. He's the only one who's done so That's far. He's the only one, uh, and he's no longer here. And I think at this point, Lucky Arctice is out for blood. might have special privileges. Right. One guy who gets to take a game. Yep, and that's it. Justin's because you beat me in bracket early, yeah. I'll let you get a game. You get it. But Justin has to find himself a ticket to get on that list. He's found, uh, yeah, he's going to run off. Not even going to mess with the Toxic. He recognizes that Lux had to spend some time charging up the Toxic gas right there. So he can run off and take that time away. That's uh, some weighted out neutral that has totally gone to waste if he just avoids the gas. I was mentioning uh, off stream earlier with you, and we were looking at Lucky's this. play. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. It's the goldfish memory. <laughs> um, when we were looking at Lucky's play, though, he's such an aggressive player, um, and specifically with the match versus Archetice, right? Archetice recognizes that he needs to play a bit more aggressive yep. because Captain Falcon's aggressiveness is way better. He has better buttons than, way better buttons. than Piranha Plant. But Yoshi just doesn't have that. He's got Nair, but that's not necessarily the most aggressive. So he's stuck playing this more mid-range, um, and Piranha Plant just proves to be better in a lot of situations for what he wants yeah, to do. Yeah, he does get to trump a lot of what Yoshi does. I like this going low, not necessarily for a kill, because it's really hard. You can't get Piranha Plant. has got so much recovery to work with, but you get an extra Nair, that's an extra, like, 6%. Like, that's, that's something to speak of. That's a practice combo we just did. That's so dirty. With the up airs as well, Justin's finally found a way to land, but he took 60% without touching the floor. Oh, he is chasing down with the back air. He's looking for another opportunity to do it again, and a nice down tilt is going to keep Lucky down. No tech gets him out of there. And Justin's even up the stocks. We're not taking much of a casualty on this one. It's the keep you on. It's tech. Yeah. It's like, look, you know, you're, you're going to tech this nine times out of ten, but that one time I'll get a stock, and that's all I need. And the rest of the time he's getting damaged, so that's really nice for him to be. Oh, keeping up the percent. The jab's coming right off of the forward air. That's pretty scary. He's actually evened up the game really quickly with that. He's only been able to find like a couple combos in the last couple games. So once he does, it speeds this up a lot. And that's exactly what he wants, right? Exactly. You know, and the problem here with Plant's gameplay compared to Yoshi's gameplay, Yoshi moves in with a lot of aggressive aerials, um, blasting hitboxes. But Plant and oh, Batui in the conversation just snuffs him out. So every time that Justin finds a bit of an opening, uh, Batui's just here waiting for him with open arms. Ooh, a big sweep and up tilt there. He's gonna barely catch Lucky, but right back in exchange, Justin is caught by a backer. This one is devastating. That fiery potted plant. Where's the fire come from? I'm not sure. Booker, where does the fire I come from? I think they've shot fire out in a game before, but I don't play Mario either, so my bad. Resist against Koopas. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the list. Uh, stay with that one. Egg girl out. Just stalling a bit here on ledge. And Lucky just playing from ledge as best as he can. But he just lives here. It's like watching a Wii Fit play. Yeah. No. It's it's a really good place to be for a character that can just keep throwing out projectiles like that. I'm curious to see if it would actually just be nice for Justin to stay out there throwing out eggs a little bit more. It might just stall out and maybe net him some damage. I don't know. He's a try to, I don't know if it's like even a reasonable thing, but. I'm stuck on this a little bit. Did you say that like Piranha Plants were Goombas? No, no, no. I'm I think they're saying, like, like different species. No, def, def, I would definitely wager that they're different species. I'd probably put no, money no, on I'm, it. I'm just, I'm just saying like, it sounds like you don't play Mario because you don't like Goombas. All that's, right. that's not okay. bad stuff. <laughs> Coming out of the corner here, Lucky just meeting any approach that Justin has with a poison cloud, and Justin is forced to trade more and more percent to just secure the second stock. Huge hill to climb for him now. And he's looking for that two frame. And the just not able to connect. Stuck on platform, this is exactly what Lucky wants. This could be Justin's last stock in the tournament right now. The down B's adding a lot of pressure, but he recovers high. Justin barely holding on here. The forward air doesn't quite connect. Another back air hits him. There's a lot of threat around here as the hitboxes pull up, and Lucky's just throwing out more and more hitboxes. Oh, no, and the back air's not even going to do it. The Nair there it is. It's the second time this game that we've seen the Nair offstage take a stock. Uh, but over the course of that second stock there, Lucky has got more and more percent onto Justin. These poison clouds really... Stacked up 111, yep. and he has to try to take the last one here from Lucky just to stay in the game. Yeah, once again, we see a player forced to play a perfect game in order to keep it. And as Lucky shown us that he can kill at this kind of percent, and he'll rack up a lot of percent really early, just like he did on this stock in particular. So Justin has been circumventing all this damage pretty well. He's going to get grabbed. There's no th uh, kill throw option, but down throw is going to add on some more of that percentage as he's pressured on ledge. Yeah, the kill throw is not going to come to like 150, but now he's in the kill throw. Mm, extra be scary here. But he has been, he's got a little bit of percent, you know, he's, he's known he's been in death range for a while. Up till won't do it, but up air now. Now he's in up air percent. Yeah, the kill options are starting to mount up. The two little eggs are going to bounce off of each other. Just trying to find his way in. The Nair gets that, but that he doesn't it. quite chase the roll. That was what he needed, but he's going to find a back air chasing here onto Lucky on ledge. Oh, man, we're also getting to the point where dash attack is going to pretty consistently. He's got to just play perfect. Weak hit from Dash Attack. Not going to secure it, unfortunately, for Lucky. Um, but Justin runs right into the forward tilt. Lucky takes it 3-0. That's not even a, a check that 
Lucky has shown us so far. I don't think the forward tilt came out like at all during the entire match and definitely not there waiting for a roll from ledge. So Lucky has still kept up this this pace. Not lost the game to anyone except for Arc Dice. So who's gonna be the person to do it? Or is Lucky 